Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Barbie, the Princess and the Pop Star. Marabella was buzzing with excitement. Its week-long 500th birthday celebration was beginning. Princess Tori was dutifully greeting a long line of guests at the royal reception, while the pop star Chiara was performing in Marabella's Marabella's amphitheater. Even though Tori was a beautiful princess, she was tired of all her royal responsibilities. She longed to be at Chiara's rock star concert having fun. Chiara too wanted a break from her obligations. Although the concert was a huge hit and she was smiling for her fans, she was glad to finally close the door to her closing room to her dressing room, grateful to escape the pressures of being a star. Later that night, Tori was happy to be back in her bedroom where she didn't have to behave like a proper princess. I wish I had her life, she said to her puppy, Vanessa, while looking up at the rock, at the rock out Chiara poster on her wall. She began to sing about what it would be like to be Chiara. Meanwhile, in her dressing room, Chiara was looking at a portrait of the royal family. Now there's a gig, she said in her playful bulldog to her playful bulldog riff, living in a castle, everything done for you, the princess probably even working working a day f- print the princess probably never worked a day in her life. Chiara started to sing about what it would be like to be Princess Tori. The next day, Chiara and her power hungry manager, Critter, met the royal family at the castle. Princess Tori was thrilled to meet her favorite rock star as much as Kiara was excited to meet a real princess. Wow! You've got more of my stuff than I do, Kiara said looking at all the Kiara posters in the princess's bedroom. You're a star, said Tori in, a com- in complete admiration of her new friend. And you're a princess, said Kiara. I always dreamed of being one. Tori placed her tiara on on Kiara's head. Then Kiara completed the transformation by using her magical microphone to turn her rocker outfit into a princess gown. Tori used her magical hairbrush and turned her princess hair into Kiara's purple rock star dew. The girls had lots of fun with their magical transformations. Princess Tori now looked exactly like Kiara, and Kiara had become Princess Tori. The girls walked out of Tori's bedroom, posing as each other. Can you keep a secret? Tori asked Kiara as they stopped by a wall lined with photos of royal ancestors. Sure, replied Kiara. Tori rotated a car a carved flower on the wall on the wall. Suddenly the panel opened and they entered a beautiful secret garden. In the center a gardenia plant glittered with with almond-sized diamonds, and tiny garden fairies were flying about taking care of all the plants. This plant is the diamond gardenia. It's five hundred year old it's five hundred years old, and it grows real diamonds. Legend says that the roots spread all through the kingdom. Without it, Marabella would wither and die, Tori explained to Chiara. Chiara with with amazement by the magic of the garden. Then two garden fairies placed a diamond necklace on each other on the girls. We'll wear these as friendship necklaces, said Tori. Meanwhile, Critter had secretly followed the girls into the garden. Diamonds glittered in the evils in the evil eyes as he planned to return to the garden when no one was watching to steal the valuable plant. The girls had enjoyed being each other so much that they decided to continue their their charade for another day. The next morning, the girls gave each other their daily schedules and, and advice on how to behave.
They even traded dogs for the day. Ready? Asked Tori, decked out in her rocker outfit. Ready? Said Kiara, looking like the beautiful princess. With Riff's help, Tori enjoyed her day as Kiara. She managed the dance moves at rehearsal, gave out autographs, posed for the Paranzi, and loved trying on different costumes for the concert. Likewise, Kiara was getting used to the idea of being a princess. With Vanessa's guidance, she used the proper utensils at breakfast, judged a flower show, christened a yacht, and, la and lunched with ambassadors. She even loved riding in the royal carriage waving to the people of Marabella. Later that day, Kiara and Tori shared the exciting details of being each other. This has been the best day I've had in, like, forever. Too bad the switch is over, unless you'd want to keep, keep going one more day, suggested Kiara. You're on, Tori said excitedly, but we have to switch back tomorrow before the live broadcast of my concert, said Kiara. The next day, everything went wrong. Tori couldn't follow the footwork to Kiara's dance, and Kiara managed to insult a visiting duke. To make it even worse, Tori's aunt, Amelia, had locked the princess in the bedroom for being improper at the table, and now she couldn't escape to meet Tori at the amphitheater. Meanwhile, Tori was a nervous wreck. Kiara was to perform on stage in ten minutes, and she was nowhere in sight for the girls to switch back in time. Tori was horrified, was horrified to sing and dance in front of an audience, but she stepped out of Kiara's dressing room ready for the opening number so that she wouldn't ruin her friend's career by not performing. Trapped in the princess's bedroom, Kiara watched Vanessa scratch at the wall, barking. Confused, Kiara pushed on the wall, opening it to reveal a secret tunnel where she was able to escape. Suddenly, the light started to flicker throughout Marabella. Critter and his assistant had made their way into the secret garden and cut the roots of the gardenia, causing the kingdom to completely wither. As the lights dimmed in the amphitheater, Tori knew something was wrong. She called an intermission and ran off stage. Turning herself back into the real princess, Tori sped off to the, to the castle in the royal carriage where she arrived just in time to help Kiara chase away the thieves. The girls rushed back to the secret garden to replant the gardenia. But it was too late. The plant was already dead. Suddenly the girl's face lit up. The friendship necklaces, they gasped. The girls quickly planted their diamonds as gardenia seeds, and the gardenia fairies watered them. Magically the seeds sprouted a tiny glittering gardenia plant with two shoots. All of a sudden the kingdom came back to life. Kiara and Tori raced back to the amphitheater just in time to finish the live theater where the audience was chanting Kiara's name. I think this last song would sound great as a duet, said Kiara. Please welcome my best friend, Her Royal Highness, Princess Tori. As the crowd gave a thunderous applause, Kiara and Tori smiled. They were happy that they had the chance to be at each to, to be each other, but they learned that the best thing they could be is themselves. What have we learned today? We have learned from Tori and Kiara that being happy with who you are is a wonderful thing. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.